Welcome back to Mopus Magnum. I'm Dear Darling, and why don't we what, something work together to discover our Magnum Opus? Something like that. Whatever. <laughs> Timing crystal. I used to believe your alchemy, that alchemy could solve any problem, and you don't believe this any longer? Not at all. Look at all the good my alchemy has done thus far. Perhaps you picked the wrong problems to solve. At the university, there's a sense that nothing is beyond our chemical science. By learning to practice alchemy, you're achieving total mastery over the world. Hmm. That's a, a good control over everything. It's an appealing viewpoint. Appealing, but wrong. So we're making a timing crystal. What? <laughs> hmm. Okay, um. Well, that's some. Um... Hmm. <laughs> okay. First things first, can we do this without tracks? Uh, the answer is no, I believe. We can make this. No, we can't make this hex shape, can we? Because um, it doesn't have bonds like this. Yes, so we definitely we definitely can't do it with this only being one long. So thus it must be at least two or three long, and thus we probably need tracks, is my guess, because we can't access this without using um tracks. This just seems like it's a big slog, to be honest. It doesn't seem like there's anything particularly special going on about this. Okay, let's think about this. I think we want a thing like this. We want the product to be over here. Somewhere, somewhere far away so we don't have to think about it. We probably want it this way around. We start with a, the gold here. We'll have a track like this. This, this just seems like it's going to be incredibly painful to do. I'll be perfectly honest. Um, actually, I think we want it like this. Sorry about that, little jump cut. Um, what are we doing? Yes, we're doing this stuff. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Swing round one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, we probably want to put it here. Yeah, let, let's move up. Then drop. Then, I suppose we could do this. Oh no, I mean we can, but it's a bit pointless. Um, let's move back. Rotate that way, grab, drop. No, rotate, drop, move up, grab, pivot. Then repeat this. I think. How do, how do we copy paste? That's not right. <laughs> there we go. Copy paste. Hold control. I forgot. <laughs> so we do that again. So it's two, three, four, five, six. Probably should have tested if it actually worked first. Should we just see if it works? Oh. Hmm, I did not realise that would result in a collision. Does that mean we need free tracks because we need to slide in the thing? Ugh, I hate this annoying collision thing. Um, what can we do for that? What if we brought everything in real close? Well, we can't bring it in that close. <laughs> this still collides, doesn't it? Hold on. Um, what would be the, the equivalent? That doesn't collide. Does this collide? That collides, okay. Hmm. I think we need a third track then, annoyingly enough. That's very annoying. It, it feels very unsatisfying to do... Um having to put a third track in, just because of it not quite working out how you wanted, you know? You get me? Um, let's think, where do we want to put this thing? We want to swing it down like that, no we don't, we want to swing it down and then put it in, like that, right? So this will swing, 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 uh, so we need to move up once more, and come back twice more. Da, 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 da. Da, da. 
rotate down, forward grab, forward grab, move up on the track, drop, move up again, grab, pivot, drop, move back twice. Oh, and then, and then this is just for repeating. Okay. So well, so that's twice. This would be four times. This would be six times. And presumably this will make our little, little hexagonal pattern, which is good. And we don't need to do that last pivot, I suppose. We, we've now got this hex pattern. And now we need to start thinking about how we are going to make this outside thing. My hunch is that we should make each line across like this. So, okay. So, we want to, instead of pulling this down, we want to actually move it across. So then we've got the hex shape here. Then drop it, move back twice, rotate, grab, rotate back, move up once, drop. Do we drop it immediately? Actually, I don't think we drop it yet. I think we pivot this. And pivot it such that... Pivot it twice? Let's think, we've got the thing here, and we've got the hexagon shape here. That'll be the thing here, hexagon shape here. Thing here, hexagon shape here. And then move it over here. Okay, yeah. I think we pivot it twice, we move it up, drop. So then we have it here, or the hexagon here. So then... That would be this thing, and we want to put this shape in. Okay, actually this seems quite straightforward. The only problem that could happen is we could end up making bonds we don't want to make. Which is my only concern. Which hopefully doesn't come to pass. And if it does come to pass, we'll just have to, I guess, figure it out. <laughs> it's not really... Oh, uh, we don't want to drop that yet. We want to just bind it and move it across. And then drop it, then go backwards twice. Rotate, grab. Rotate down. And go across and now we've we've got the hexagon here we made this across ah we need to do this bind here what's the easiest way to do that i'll probably just pivot it i think this works right we should have made one triangle now we have we, we've now made this shape okay now what? Now now we pivot three times? I think. And then we repeat the same process basically. From where? From here? Where is it from? From here, I think is where we repeat this process. Does that make sense? Pivot, pivot, move up, drop. Let's just test if that works before we get too ahead of ourselves. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Okay, or did we pivot? We might have pivoted once too many. Actually, now I think about it. But that is something to be concerned of because this is such a large. Oh, we did. We did actually just pivot once too many. And we did it again. <laughs> no, no. What? Control Z. That is something to take into account because this compound is so large, we might end up colliding with ourselves quite a few times. So that'd be three times, four times, five times, six times. Let's just see what happens or where it fails. Because this is such a large compound, we can't reach across it all that often. Ah, wait, hold on. We messed up somewhere over here. Where does it start going wrong? Maybe let's skip to here. Okay, there's six lines so far. Ah, we, we started pivoting a bit too early here. Why have we done that now? 
This is just copy pasted, so it should be fine, I would have thought. Oh, I copy pasted pasted the wrong part, I think. I think I'm in the copy paste from here, right? I'm pretty sure it's gonna start colliding when we get to these last bits because this is such a big compound. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna have to do something special for the, the like last the last triangle, I suppose. Triangle being like this formation here. I think. Because I think that's when it's going to be too large, right? We can't reach across it properly. Maybe not? Actually, it's fine. Okay, wait. I need to see exactly where we end up. Because I forget that this one we just need to delicately... So we pivot it, that's fine, and move it across. Okay, we just need to make sure we slide it in perfectly here. Otherwise it's going to collide, and that'll be a problem. So I think we drop it. Move backwards. Um, twice. Reach up. Grab, and this is... Grab, and this is a thing we need to move across once first. Let's think, it's going to be like this, right? Move across twice. And then rotate it in. And then that's going to do this bond. We'll move backwards to do that bond. And then we just like rotate and we'll see how that ends up. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't collide. If that collides, we've actually got a problem. Ah, there was on the wrong one. I, I moved up once too many. That's my bad. Um, so instead of moving backwards, we need to move forwards, don't we? To get that last bond in. Oh, I missed it by one. It's okay, I forgot to drop it down anyway. It seems like this should work. It is a rather, rather large compound, but the fact we don't run into collisions is mostly because we keep it beneath us. Most of the time. So we're only reaching across this... These three atoms at max, and we never pivot into us. So it actually turns out kind of fine. Despite looking a bit precarious, in my opinion. <laughs> Like, it looks like it should be a lot um, scarier than it actually is. But it sort of just works out. Just because of the shape. But that's something for us to keep into note that if we ever have, like, I suppose, I don't know how to describe it, a compound with a radius of four instead of three atoms, we're not going to be able to use an arm like this. We can't reach over it. We'd have to do it completely constructed, like, outside of our reach, I suppose, rather than reaching over a compound in case it ever collides with the arm again. I don't know why we're making a timing crystal, are we making a watch? I'm sure of it now. Alchemists believe far too strongly in their own abilities. Perhaps you can inform your colleagues of this new conclusion. <laughs> a quaint notion. They never let me lecture at university. <laughs> not in my state. And it's not a message they'd want to hear. That's a shame. Outside views are important to consider. Outside views, yes. I'm quite far from the centre of alchemical engineering today. Strange to think how quickly that happened, I guess. I suppose, I suppose a war will do that to you. Perspective requires distance, doesn't it? Look at our old Anateus having character development. A, vo a voltaic coil? Like, full of voltage coil? I don't know. Electrical coil? I'd never thought alchemy particularly dangerous before. I see now why it was once so feared. It's an alarmingly powerful art. There's a good reason alchemists must be licensed before they can practice. It makes sense, I think, with a lot of scientific things where you're <laughs> holding lives in your hands. Would you consider yourself licensed at the moment? That's a special circumstance. By all rights, we should be dead, so I doubt it matters now. That's fair enough. Oh, what a weird chain. What a very, very strange chain. Hmm. How are we going to make this? Okay, I need to think about this before we get straight into it. Okay. So this is our repeating piece, which doesn't seem too bad to, con to actually construct. It's just how we're going to bind it to this. It's a very specific way it fits together. There's not much room for error. It looks like we had to slide in, if anything. 
which is going to be difficult to do with minimising cost. Um, because theoretically, we need one, two, three rails for that. So the question is, can, so okay, sorry. Let me let me talk through what I'm thinking. I'm thinking basically we have. We assume we got the chain here and we make this new piece. What we have to do is bring that old chain out to this spot, put the new shape in here, and have like a binding thing here, then grab it. I guess we don't need to... Ah, but we can't even get that close, can we? Because we're going to have a binding thing here. I guess we can get this close. Hmm. So we'd have to do it like rotated over here or something and then rotate it in. That's very strange. This is very strange. Um, okay. So, I think we need rails going like this. Anyway, the fact we need three is because we need to like reach over three compounds. So we can definitely do it in three, but can we do it in two is basically my question. We need to definitely be able to reach this. Is it possible we could have the two rails here? No, then how are we going to put something new in there? That's a good point. That's a good point. Didn't think about that. I think we have to do it with three. No, that's not true. If we did it with these two. No, it's the same as doing it with these two. So suppose we could have two rail. Suppose we could do it with these two rails here. How do we build a chain? We'd build a chain, we'd put it there. And then we'd have to reconstruct the chain over here somehow. Or, or, or over here, I guess. So that means we need this thing, like, oh, it's hard to think about, um, because we need the zigzag pattern, let's see, it's going to be like this, so we need the binding thing like this, which is a problem. I suppose we could bind them together over here, so if we grabbed it and rotated it this way. No, rotate it once, it would be like this, rotate it again, it will be like that, and then we'll need to, need to bind it like this. Okay, so this is a lot of planning that has to go into this one. <laughs> this is very strange. Um, we're going to need this, obviously this, we're going to need a saltifier. So we can grab the chain from here, rotate it up here. Actually, we don't even need it here. We could hit, do it here and just pivot it, can't we? Yeah, and then we need to somehow slot this thing in like that. Slot our new new thing in. That doesn't seem doable. Without collect. Okay, let, let's think how this one would be laid out if we pivoted it how we wanted to. So we've got this is the backbone of it running down like this. I mean, it's going to be like this, isn't it? I suppose if we moved the chain up there, we could swing it in like this, maybe? That seriously feels like it's going to collide. <laughs> that really feels like it's going to collide. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't just. So this is our repeating pattern. That's how much room it takes up. And then if we had if we had it here and we pivoted it the right way round, which would, would be not this way round, it'd be rotated once more. So it'd be no it wouldn't. No, it would be this way round, and we swung it in like this. Will that collide? My hunch is yes. This almost certainly looks like it's gonna collide. This looks like it's a hard one to do with minimized cost. Um, let's think about it. It takes this sort of arc. We should be worried about this one. What sort of arc will this take? And if that's that's how we grab it. So I'm pretty sure this this thing will collide. This one will collide with that. Okay, so we're gonna. Add, I think the only way I can think to do this would be to use free tracks. Either that, or we have to push it into place.
Yeah, I think the easiest way is just to use three tracks. And then have a binding here. Is that far enough away? Hmm. I know I'm not like getting into any of the action, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to think about it. Because this is something I really think we need to think ahead for. So the binding's not going to be like that, it's going to be like this, isn't it? So we're going to make... Oh, we need to pull the chain back. Oh, crud. I forgot. This is the whole thing I was talking about before, wasn't it? We don't have enough room to reach it. Unless we do it from here. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> doesn't make sense? Oh, this is so difficult. This must be doable with three tracks. Maybe we should just start with making the thing first. How do we want to do this all like this? It's going to be so annoying. Kind of want as much room as possible. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I mean, we could, we could easily do this with a piston. Is my assumption. Do we want to build this as we go? That seems like a stupid question, but it kind of is. True. Anyway, so one, one, two, three, four. What am I doing? Why don't we do it like this? I don't know if we. No, we should start in the middle. To grab both of them. Yeah, that's probably. This, this, this makes more sense. Um, uh, 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 so let's put it here. One, two. Pop that down. Um, reset, rotate once, grab, pop. No, we need to move across before we do that. And then we got this binding, okay. Next thing to do is... Oh, we should do the fire first. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll drop it. Move back to the centre. Which way am I facing? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Grab it. Pivot it. Which way? This way. Is that the right way? That seems like the wrong way. Oh no, it's fine. Put, put it twice. Yep. Reset. Oh, we're gonna collide. Okay, so we, we can't we can't do it this way. We have to we have to do it this way. We have to pivot that way. And then move across to here and drop it. Reset. Just reset. Grab. Rotate, rotate. No, we need to move back to the center. Oh, wait, we reset it. It's fine. Move back to the center and there. And this should make that shape. Okay, so we've got this going on. And then from here, we can just move it across that way. Reset. What's the easiest way to... No, because we had to put the salt on the other side. <laughs> oh, this is actually really weird. Um... So we got it like this, we got it grabbed by there. We just pivot it three times. Reset. Move over. Grab. Move out. Swing around three times. And this should make that. Okay, nice. And then. Oh, we really have to pay a lot of attention to which side we're coming in from, don't we, when we're making this compound? There's a lot of ways collisions can happen here because of it's such a compact compound. Um, okay. Well, we got that in. So the next bond is to make this bond. This straight line bond. Which would be... Because this is swinging in this way. Having these three this way. So pivoting it twice. Okay, so that'd be releasing that. Moving across, grabbing, moving backwards, pivoting twice. Resetting, I think.
Is that right? Why does this look? No, we want it here, don't we? Yeah, wait, not pivot twice. Can I, can I even get in around that fire? I don't know, I suppose we can find out. Uh, I suppose if worst comes to worst, we can just um move outwards and swing around. Okay, yeah, we need to move outwards and swing around. Strangely. Then come back in. Is that right? I think this is right. Yeah, and then we put the salt in here? I think. Oh, this is totally going to make an unwanted bond at some point. Oh my god. We have to be careful about this. Okay. Mm. I think we put this next salt in first. Okay, in which case we need to actually move backwards again. Oh god, I forgot which way around it was. It goes in a straight line, so we need to pivot three times. I think. <laughs> this is really hard to imagine. Like this. The, the reason we move out is because we don't want to make an accidental bond between these two. And then we move back in again. So then we got it here, then we just... D drop it. Are we in the centre? We're in the centre, I believe. Rotate round three times. Grab. Move out. Swing round. Thrice. Move back in. Um, I've messed up somewhere. <laughs> I didn't actually grab it. We also did not. Oh, but because I pressed the wrong button, I pressed it again. The wrong button. I meant to grab it. I keep pressing for some reason. I'm mixing up, move up on the thing and grabbing. Okay, so we got this thing, thing here. <laughs> we need to put another, the next mercury in, or lead. Was it tin? Lead. Next lead in. We we got it like this, so it goes here. So we release that. Move up, grab, pivot, I think. But is that going to bind something? That's going to bind something, isn't it? I think this binds something that we don't want bound. Wait, I think we moved out a bit too far than I expected. I don't know why we move out here. I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> No, that's going to bind that. Yeah, in fact, we don't want to move out. We want to move the other way, if anything. I think. Why does this keep moving out? What am I doing? Why am I... Oh, I was meant to drop it first, that's why. <laughs> meant to drop it first, then move out. Grab it and pivot it. But I think this does make a binding we don't want. Hmm. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... Before we pivot, we just move backwards first, I think. That should solve it. Yes, okay. So from that, we release. Rotate, rotate. And this should put... I just keep forgetting to grab. How am I going to... How am I going to make any combatants if you can't pick up the combatants, huh? Okay. I think we need to pivot everything across again. Strangely. We basically need to flip this upside down. Yep, that seems fine. Um, we'll drop it. Swing around three times. Grab it. Move back. Rotate, rotate. Rotate. Move in. And this should make a repeating compound. We're not meant to salt it. We were not meant to salt it. So 
So we have our repeating compound, I believe. We were meant to move out though. Not there though. <laughs> That's literally exactly the same thing I did. Rotate out first and then move. So is that correct? That's correct. Now we're going to have to figure out what on earth, how we're going to connect this to our chain. Ooh, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be very difficult. I don't know if we can figure it out in time for this video. Oh my god. It's going to be really difficult. This is going to be especially difficult. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try and figure it out next time, I suppose, because we've encroached on 30 minutes now. So if you have been watching, thank you very, very much. This has been Opus Magnum. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares. Greatly appreciated. Join Dear Darling Discord. I hope we can see each other again. Oh, follow me on Twitter. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.